Now this is also the reason why the followers of Ahmed, the prophet Muhammad today dress just like Felashian Hebrews of Ethiopia or the Beta Israel. This dress consists of long white robes and shawl with blue stripes and turbans or temtemoj. They got the prayer beads they call subha from the Coptic rosary and this is where they received their holy days. They also received their methodology for praying from the Beta Israel or the Falashas, which is what they originally did. For instance, falling down and prostrating on the ground, according to Joshua chapter 5, verse 14, facing east, which at the time was Jerusalem, according to Daniel 6 and 10, and later became known as Baca or Mecca. We must mention here that when Ahmed, their prophet Muhammad, got this call for salot or prayer, they always say the angels took him back to Jerusalem and then up to heaven. So that really means that Jerusalem, the Hebrew Mekdes or holy place, was the gate to the Samayat and not Baka, the Mohammedan so called holy place in Saudi Arabia. The point that we're making here is that the Mohammedans in Ethiopia at that time maliciously selected only certain verses from El Quran. In other words, they perverted their very own scripture and they had a long argument about how these people, the first Mohammedans from Arabia, these immigrants, hated Christianity and did not believe in Getachen Jesus Christos, Yahoshua, Jesus Christ, that he was the son of Ha Elohim. And how Miriam was not the mother of Reboni Yahshua, Getachen Jesus and how he did not die on the cross for their sins. All of these are contained in their Quran and how their religion will take them to hell. Upon this request, the Nigush asked the spokesman of the Mohammedan immigrants to Ethiopia, who was Ahmed's cousin, Jafar, son of Abu Talib, to recite some portion of their holy book, the Quran, that speaks about Getachin Jesus Christos. At this point, he had a choice of showing his faith and if necessary, dying for what he really believed, or telling a half-truth. If you were to watch the Ahmed Muhammad movie that was made by Harab Muslims, it shows that they only picked certain verses from El Quran to recite to the Ethiopian Christians and this is an historical fact. Those verses told about the Immaculate Conception, how Jesus Christos and Miriam or Mariam, the adopted son of Yosef, was illustrious in this world and the hereafter how he was the word and the spirit of Yahweh Elohim Amlak. By that the Ethiopian Nagush or king was so impressed by Jafar's recitation that it brought tears to his eyes. The Nagush then told the two Meccans to leave and that they could not take the Mohammedan immigrants. Amir, son of Al-As, tried once again to get the Nagush to change his mind by saying there were negative things said about Getachin Iesus. 
Upon hearing this, the Negush asked Jafar what else was said about Getachin Yesus in their scripture in the Quran. Jafar replied, we say about him that which our prophet has taught us. He was a creature of God and his prophet and his spirit and his word and a sign of the end of the world which was born to the Blessed Virgin Mary. After this reply, the king of Abyssinia, the Negush of Ethiopia, welcomed them to stay in Ethiopia as long as they wanted and gave them refugee status there and food, clothes, and shelter.